guys welcome back to Danza's recipes now i know it's been a hot minute since you guys have seen this face but we are back folks um so if you guys follow me on social media most of y'all would have known that i'd have gone on a little break because it just felt like my creative direction wasn't there so i prayed and you know i did some research and you know so big up god and big up my brain i guess um, I was basically able to, you know, come up with some fresh new ideas. Now, the next couple of videos um, will be mainly me showcasing products from different local um, entities that would have sent me stuff. Yes, you know, girls in bagging these collabs and these things. Anyways, guys. So today we are starting off with uh, um, a lovely basket that Grace would have sent to me um showcasing a new line of product that they have um so black beans um quinoa garbanzo beans that sort of thing so when i got the garbanzo beans immediately my mind went to hummus so of course you know girl couldn't do regular regular hummus today so we're kicking things off with our spicy roasted garlic hummus that's what we'll be making today um, it's nice and easy, uh, especially in a season where we have friends might be coming over in the most social distance though. Um, you know, you guys can make this because, you know, it's pretty quick, it's pretty simple, and it's inexpensive actually. So, you know, we can do that though. So, that's what we'll be doing today. The video is going to be pretty short. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, you know, I've missed you guys, but we are back. We have video for kill um, over the next couple weeks. So your girl will be pumping out video after video after video. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to get out of the way and we're going to head right into the kitchen and just do it up. So I'll see you guys next week. All right, guys, so as I mentioned, we're doing a roasted garlic hummus. So, of course, we need to roast the garlic. So, let's go. All right, guys, so we're just going to wrap this up and roast at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes until they're nice and soft. All right, guys, so this is Grace's chickpeas. Now, um, you know, Grace is a popular Jamaican brand, but I didn't know that they had chickpeas before. No. So this is it. We're going to take it out of the can, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right? So I have uh, uh, drained the aquafaba from the chickpeas, and aquafaba is just the liquid that is in the can. And what I'll be doing now is just removing that skin-like, texture um from the chickpeas what does this do this allows you to have a smoother creamier hummus um some people will do it with the skin of the bean itself on um i'm gonna do it without it just so that we can have a smoother creamier texture so we will spend some time to do that because we'll have to take them off every single one so that's the most time consuming part of all of this but i promise you guys it's going to be worth it Right, guys so we're gonna start blending and we'll be adding water just to thin it out as we go along all 
all right guys so um i'm just gonna give this a little taste test to see if it's missing anything you can do this as well and just flavor as you go along i'm adding some fresh lemon juice and just a pinch of salt and then i'm just gonna blend that again um and then i will just get going on that pita bread just to pop it in the oven all right guys so um we have our pita bread all i'm doing is i'm just going to cut them in you know little triangles and then i'm just going to get them on a baking sheet with some olive oil, salt, and freshly ground black pepper, and we're just gonna toast them up in the oven for about 10 minutes at uh, uh, just about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright guys, so this is our finished product. Our hummus is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god guys, that roasted garlic and that cayenne just kind of hits you in the face. But let's talk about how creamy it is. It's super creamy, like kid you not, there are no lumps, it's nice and smooth. Exactly how I pretty much like my hummus. Of course, um, if you don't like your hummus that creamy, you can um, leave the skin on. But the reason why I took it off is just so that I could have that nice creamy goodness. So Grace, Grace found it with their chickpeas. Absolutely love it. It's not overly hard, so you don't need to cook them again or anything. You can just use them straight from the can. So yes, guys, that's it. Another quick and easy video from me to you guys don't forget to let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys next week